I want to fight. You know, that's what I want to do. Um, I've, like I said, I've done some other things, but growing up around it, being around it, that's, I go back to, to being on the farm. I love what I do. I love the farm. Uh, if it uh, gets in your blood, it's hard to get out. And it's just a lifestyle that it's not for the weak. I mean, you have to be strong mentally. You have to have a strong back. You have to have a strong faith. Agriculture for the state of Georgia is uh, well over $73 billion in economic impact, um, which is huge. Agriculture is our number one industry. Uh, one out of seven Georgians uh, work in or around agriculture. It should be two and a half, three billion dollar industry, but here in the last couple of years we've took some billion dollar losses. Hurricane Michael placed about a three billion dollar loss on our state and the area of agriculture. I'm back basically to square one. Everything I've done for 30 years, I've mortgaged back to the hilt. Uh, there's no way out uh, without selling selling my, my property. You, you lose 200,000, 250,000 that year and you turn around and lose 250,000 again in 2018, you know, it, 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 it kind of hurts. We've just been beat down so many times that farming communities, we don't give up on trying. We just kind of get beat down with being pushed down and, and thinking that we're not important. It costs a lot to do what we do. Um, and that's the problem that we have now is, you know, our input costs continue to go up, but the price we receive for the products we grow and produce continues to go down. The farmer's backs are against the wall. Uh, you know, you tell me any business that uh, can take those kind of financial losses and um, continue to operate it, they're, they're gonna be far and few between. I don't think the general public realizes how important what we do is. When farmers have a disaster, it not only affects us, but it affects the car dealerships around here. It affects the tractor dealerships. It affects the chemical companies and the seed companies. If we failed in production agriculture in America, it's because we haven't told the true story of what it really takes to make a crop and what that crop does to our economy.